Small RC planes are some of the most fun you will ever have in this hobby, especially when they're as cool looking as a P-51 Mustang. Now these are great for flying in small spaces, unless you're like me and you end up in a tree, which I'll get to later. And we're back with another release from Horizon Hobby. Now listen, I read their comments and a lot of you guys are like, not another UMX. Well, guess what? I'm a big fan of UMXs. UMXs is actually what got me involved in this hobby. So when they release these things, I love them. Listen, the more and more and the deeper I get into the hobby, like I find myself spending weeks or months building these giant ARFs. It's so nice opening a box and having a model that's this pretty, ready to fly. All I gotta do is add the battery. Now, big fan of the Mustang. This scheme came out absolutely beautiful. Full four channel, there's no flaps but we do have a little pilot in there, very cool. The only thing that, you know, after looking at it that I would change is, kind of wish there was a little sticker in there as like a cluster, maybe with like, you know, all the gauges and stuff. Other than that, man, super cool. Now this is running on 3S. Back when I first started flying, I remember my first UMX was the little B17, it was 1S. And then uh, moving on to like all the UMX timbers and stuff that used to run on 2S. Now we got 3S. We got a Mustang on 3S as a UMX. That is a beautiful thing. Now on the bottom is where the battery goes. It's going to slide right into place. And, uh, you know, the real Mustang didn't have a angled uh, thrust angle for P factor, but this one does. And you know, when you have a model that's this small, you're going to want that because when you hit the throttle, it's going to want to veer off to the left. So am I saying that right? To the left. You're going to want to have to add right runner. Yep. So they did that for you. I'm curious to see if it's actually going to work, uh, helping us keep this level and track straight on the ground. Uh, one thing I do want to note is that the rear tail wheel does move, and that's a beautiful thing. But let me not just tell you that. Let me show you. So we're going to put the battery in. Like I said, 3S, 300 milliamp. It's in my pocket next to a heater because it's freezing out here in New York, and I'm a maniac for being out here flying. But I got this new plane, and I want to fly it. So 3S, 300 milliamp. Let's get this thing plugged in. And get this plane in the air. Now, I do want to say this is a first for me, guys. I have never in my life flown a UMX plane at a field. These are backyard flyers for me, and I guess that's kind of why I like them so much. Just being able to bring it out, fly it in my backyard, you know, when I have company over or if I'm bored by myself and my other half driving me crazy in the living room, I could kind of just go in my own backyard fly and then not have to worry about going to a field. Let that gyro initialize does have safe AS3X and all that, so we'll have to initialize. There it goes. I set this up just the way they tell you to in the manual. I believe it's 10% expo, 100% throws. I don't have any dual rate set. As I said, check it out. So we have our elevator, we have our rudder, and we have our ailerons. Now that is safe on. So as you see, now safe is on. We have a lot less throw. So aileron safe on, aileron safe off. For those of you that are watching don't know what safe is, I will go through it real quick. So safe on. If I go left and I bring the plane left, it limits the bank angle. So that is as far as this plane is going to let me to go. If I go right, same thing, limits the bank angle. Now, if I shut safe off, I have full control. I'll be able to go inverted. Now, same thing with that elevator. So safe on, well, that's safe off, safe on. As you see, let me go sideways here. As you see, it's going to level out. So probably right around there is the most it's going to let me go. If I shut it off, I'll be able to do a full back loop. So that's safe in a nutshell. Also, AS3X, let's see. AS3X, if the wind hits it, you hear the, the servos chirping, it's going to pretty much just smoothen out the flight. So you're not going to get all the bopping around and all that stuff. And that's it, man. P51 Mustang, beautiful job on the paint. I'm loving the way this thing looks. And I'm expecting it to have a decent amount of power. So let me see some. I'm going to take off safe on. Let's see how it does. Easy on the power. Oh, wow. Talk about scale. That was a nice little scale takeoff for this little thing. I'm going to keep it in this area right here. I am right around between 20 and 30% power. Again, the gyro is on. I'm going to shut it off in a second. I just want to feel it out. This is my first time putting this thing in the air. As you can tell, there's no scratches on it. Yeah, man. It looks good in the air, too. I'm hoping you could see it against that blue sky. Now I'm going to shut the gyro off. Gyro is off now. Full throttle. Wow. Wow. I was not expecting that. So guys, that's what I'm going to call unlimited vertical because that's kind of crazy. I don't know if the camera could even see that. I probably just hit that 400 foot threshold in a matter of seconds. I'm going to do that again for you. 
I do want you to notice, you see when I hit the throttle, how it goes left? That's that P factor I'm talking about. So if it didn't have that thrust angle that they added, that would be going way left to the point where you probably couldn't even fly it. So it's very cool that they did that. Now I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave the jaw roll for a second. It does need a little bit of trim, a little down trim, nothing too drastic. Let's do a nice slow pass in front of us. I'm a big fan of the Mustang in real life, just going to the air show, seeing it. The models, it's usually a little trickier to fly these things, but this UMX is flying very well. If you're a beginner flying this with the gyro, I would advise you to lower the rates probably to 60 or 70%. But right there, that's, you know, 20% throttle. Again, I'm gonna punch it, let's climb. It's like a rocket, it just keeps going. I'll lose it, I'll lose sight of that. That is serious. Has a nice roll rate. You know, I'm gonna be honest, like this is flying like a much larger model when you're on the power. Now I'm gonna do a full speed pass right in front of us, see if I could keep it somewhat. Power's on now. Yeah, she's quick. Let's do that again, let's do it this way. Power's off, and it's coming on now. It's like a rocket. All right, safe is back on. Let's, let's see if we can do a nice little touch and go with safe on. I'm liking this thing, it's powerful. Not my best. The touch and go turn into a landing. That's that wind pushing. I don't know if the, the camera's picking up the sound. All right, safe is, uh, hang on, the wind. All right, let's get it back up. This is a powerful little plane. Needs a little bit of input, which is expected when you're inverted, but it does fly pretty well. Like I said, guys, it's got a nice roll rate. I'm just like, I can't get over that vertical. I don't even think the camera's catching that. That is wild. You know, from when I first started flying the little 1S, like that B17, four props, 1S, it was a slug. You could barely get the thing off the ground to these little things running on 3S that are outperforming some other, you know, models out there that are much larger running on 6S. It's just crazy to me. She's smooth. It's pretty windy out here too, guys. So I'm gonna say, you know, like I said, initially I thought this was gonna be a, a backyard flyer for me, which it still might, but it's got plenty of performance where you're not gonna get bored with it out of, in, a, in a space this big. This is a fast little plane. It looks great in the air. It's almost like you would expect a model that performs this well to have retracts. Like I'm looking at it while it's coming towards me and seeing those wheels out is a little weird for me. Such smooth power, too. All right, I really have to try to do a nice touch and go. It's always hard doing a touch and go with a Mustang, especially hard when it's this windy, especially hard when you're a terrible pilot like me. But uh, I'm, I'm determined. I'm determined. Touch the floor. Oh, my God. Come on. We will get a touch and go. I am determined. <laughs> that was horrible. All right, let's see. Let's bring it in for a land. Tell you what, with the gyro off, it flies phenomenal. It's not like a, uh, you know, some of these planes where you need the gyro to fly. And typical of me to nose over. When you taxi, these tail drag is always full elevator, keeps that tail planted. Hey, 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 I'm full elevator, I promise. Well, guys, the P51 UMX is a hit. 
Now, uh, we're going to bring this thing to my house and fly it the way it's supposed to be flown. So, let's get home. <laughs> Just like that, we are in my backyard. <laughs> oh! <laughs> take off yeah keep the ladder there for safekeeping <laughs> all right let's stay away from the trees it's probably hard for the camera to focus on this yeah. back here well more or less i just want to show you it is possible to fly one of these in a the backyard summertime when it's nice and warm out you want to pull out the mustang to float around i'm out of breath now I'm loving the color of this thing. Let's go low. Should I dive bomb on the on the golden retriever? No, you're gonna hurt her. UMXs will always have my heart. This is where I started flying. This is where I will always continue to fly. As fun as it is to fly the big stuff, I definitely enjoy the small stuff just as much. This isn't a traditional UMX like like a timber where you're gonna be doing tricks and stuff. I'm not too comfortable. Cause I feel like it will stall, but all in, just a beautiful model. Oh. Hey, we landed. <laughs> we landed. Technically, that's a that's a uh, that's a win. <clears throat> oh, guys! I like it. I think it's a beautiful model. UMX P51 flew it a bunch at the field. I think, you know what? This might be the first <laughs> UMX plane that I stick to at the field just because how much power it has. It really is a powerhouse. You guys seen that? You seen a quick backyard flight? It ended up in a tree and it's still in one piece. Now I'm going to put this away while it's still nice and uh, try to keep it that way. As always, appreciate you guys watching. Until next time.